Hi, my name's Rob Yates, owner at Eco Conservatory Solutions. In this video, I will explain all three options available to change your conservatory roof to a solid roof as promised. Is your conservatory too hot in the summer, too cold in the winter, too noisy in the bad weather? Then we have the answer. These are the three options to change a conservatory roof to a solid roof. Option one, replace and rebuild the whole conservatory roof. Option two, build around the existing conservatory roof. And option three, replace the poly or glass with aluminium insulated panels. I will be providing an individual installation video for each option via email for those that have subscribed. Now let's have a look in more detail. Option one, replace and rebuild the whole conservatory roof as seen in this photo. Option two, build around existing conservatory roof, again as seen in this video. Option three, replace the poly or glass with aluminium insulated panels, as seen in this photo. Option one, replace and rebuild the whole conservatory roof. There are many super manufacturer companies to choose from across the UK. I've chosen four here. Celsius Solid Roof, made by Sinseal, Guardian Solid Roof, made by Guardian, Equinox, made by Eurocell, and Ultra Roof 380, made by Ultraframe. And there are many, many more. Approved by LABC, Local Authority Building Control. What this means is that a roof can be approved for both build strength as well as energy efficiency. However, it's still the responsibility of the chosen company to make sure that the base and frames have been built to a good enough standard to achieve approval. It does not mean that other building methods are not capable of the same results. After two or three years of researching and the developing solid tiled roof market, I believe that the Celsius roof is one of the best available. This is why. It's an all timber construction. There's no aluminium skeleton, no chance of condensation. Kingspan insulated panels, 100 mil thick, laminated both internally and externally to OS boards. Very quick and easy to install the roof. Plaster finish internally. Strong enough to take, take Velux roof vents to add light into the room. There's a minimum roof pitch of 12 and a half degrees and electrics can be installed to the ridge and a pelmet at the bottom of the roof at the top of the frames to add more lighting. Now most lean-to roofs are less than 12 and a half degrees so we either have to have a look at a different option which we'll be looking at as option three or you may need to consider a redesign of the existing roof. Let's take a look at before and after of an installation. As you can see, we replaced the frames as well as installing a Celsius solid roof. This conservatory has been transformed into a room for all seasons and is now of real value as a kitchen extension any time of the year. Option two, building around the existing conservatory roof. Reuse existing roof subframe, rafters and ridge. Take out existing polycarbonate or glazing. Replace existing guttering and downpipes. Replace and install new lead. Plaster finish internally. Uh, we can install Velux roof fence to allow more light. We're using double insulation. Now this has a minimum roof pitch of 14 degrees. So as said previously, most lean-to roofs are under 14 degrees. So we may need to look at option three or a redesign of the actual uh, roof itself. So let's take a look at this solid tiled roof. This had a 15 degree pitch on it. Um, it was on the north side of the property, it was particularly cold in the winter. It originally had polycarbonate roof. and uh, We've built around this roof and um, we've uh, put Tapco tiles on as you can see to match the existing roof tiles 
and it's completely transformed this into an extension rather than a conservatory. So to build around an existing conservatory roof, the products that we use is we use Celotex boards to replace the polycarbonate or glass. We then put OS boards, 18 mil thick, on top of the uh, rafters on the outside. We then put a breathable waterproof membrane on top of the OS boards. And then we can install the Tapco tile and ridge tiles. We then come inside and we use Thin Shilex, which is a nine layer quilt, uh, insulation quilt, uh, which we put to the inside. Then we can put the plaster board on and plaster. We can install electrics into a, a, an existing ridge or we can put spotlights into any part of the existing new roof um, because there's plenty of space in the chamber. Very quick to install and it's great value. Let's take a look at before and after photographs. The left hand side has a, a discoloured polycarbonate roof as you can see and on the right hand side we have the new roof uh, with Tapco tiles on which being installed and fitted around the roof that you can see on the left. But as you can see the original conservatory is tired with discoloured polycarbonate. The new solid tiled roof has transformed this room for any time of the year adding value to both lifestyle and property. Option three, replacing polycarbonate or glass with aluminium insulated panels. We reuse existing rafters and ridge. We take out the polycarbonate or glass. We can install the aluminium panels within the same day. No matter what size conservatory, uh, this installation can be done very quickly. The panels are strong enough to work to a two degree minimum pitch. They're 70 mil aluminium high density with high density foam insulation and the aluminium is powder coated internally and externally. Ideal for low pitch roofs such as lean-tos but not exclusively. As you can see in the photograph there's seven panels in this particular lean-to roof. You can see it's a pretty low pitched roof which is why these aluminium solid panels are perfect. So option three recap. Aluminium solid panels any colour inside or outside. So we can have white inside and maybe brown outside to match the brand new PVC. We can actually have any roll colour. We replace the seals if necessary when we take the old polycarbonate out the glazing chamber. Hopefully the seals are fine but if not then they can be replaced. Whilst we're taking the polycarbonate or glass out obviously it makes it very easy to clean the old roof and bring it up like new. We reuse the existing guttering in downpipes. We can install solar control glass as a light option to allow more light into the room. It's very easy to install and quick. Now you have to have a license to sell these panels in a particular area, which we have, so we can provide these exclusively and you won't be able to buy them from uh, anyone else in, in your area. You cannot put electrics into the panels, you can't put spotlights in. Uh, you'd either have to have wall lights or standing lamps, or if you have a Victorian style with a ridge, you can put lighting into the ridge. So again, let's have a look at before and after. On the left hand side is an old polycarbonate roof that's discoloring a little bit. And on the right, you can see the five new aluminium um, insulated panels. Quick look at U values. Let's compare the insulation values of three options available. Replace and rebuild the whole conservatory roof, 0 0.15. Building around existing conservatory structure, 0 0.16. Replacing the poly or glazing only, 0 0.29. The lower the U value, the better insulation. Compared to the U value of 16 mil polycarbonate, which is 2.4, the U value of an old double glazed unit is 2.0. All three options will keep you cool in the summer, warm in the winter, reduce rain noise. All three options will vastly improve your conservatory. What to do next? For more information and a free no obligation quote, 
go to the website and request a quote by filling in your details at www.ecoconservatorysolutions.co.uk or on Facebook or you can email us at admin at ecoconservatorysolutions.co.uk I will call you to arrange an appointment. In some cases we may be able to quote online. If you have any questions at all please contact me. Hopefully this has helped you understand the options and choices available to change your conservatory roof. I will be providing an individual installation video for each option via email for those that have subscribed. Thanks for watching. 